All right, so this is the garage. This thing is huge. Um, can't really see much yet. Let's see. Shed a little light on it. Um, there's your fireplace. Got some wood stacked up. Some shelving. You got a 16 foot door. So this has got to be uh, 24 wide and it's got to pass through as you can see. Um, into the backyard you got a little shed there that needs a lot of work but um, living room again you got a big door wall here um, well, it's a three pane anyway um, door wall washer dryer water heater um, this living room's got to be all of 24 by 22, 24 by probably 28. Um, and it is a pass through into the kitchen. I didn't think it was, but so that would, that could be a very easy archway. You just have to redo some of the plumbing in the kitchen. Going into the hallway. Um, we have no power here, so um, this is one bedroom. Again, this is probably uh, 12 by 12 by 12, 12 by maybe 14. And the other bedroom is a little bit bigger. Uh, both have real nice closets. Um, little linen closet here in the hallway. You can't really see that. The bathroom is rather big. Um, you can't see it, but it is a four foot shower. No tub. Single vanity looks like a cute uh, vanity and light. Um, in the kitchen, you've got uh, your refrigerator, you got a little built in oven, uh, built in cooktop, um, older cabinets, low ceiling in here, um, probably a seven foot ceiling. counter and nice big area for uh, a table so this is a 12 by uh, 12 by 12 just in this uh, for the uh, eating area you get nice big windows uh, and then this is the mechanical room, sort of. Uh, this is your furnace. It's a ream. I don't know if you can see that or not. Ream Imperial. Um, all overhead duct. And then going outside. Got this is again the front of the house going down. Looks like this for your well pit here. Front of the front yard. That's going down toward the lake. You've got one, two, three, four houses before the road um, on one side and two on the other. Um, Again, you got a, two driveways, both are black topped. One to the garage and one to the side where I'm parked there. And this is the and on the cul de sac. You got one uh, one house down here, other house over on the other side. 
and then you just got uh, got this green here, and then that's the you can't probably see it, but there's a nice uh, it goes down to a valley and up on the hill where Sheldon Trail's on the top over there. Um, and while I'm doing this, might as well just walk around the back so you can see everything here. Got a clothesline already. You don't need that though, you got a washer and dryer. The back side of the shed, that's all rusty. Um, and then this is kind of what you got in the backyard. Um, again, here's your pass-through garage. Uh, this is like a T111 stained siding back here under the porch. Right now it is on propane on a pig, but natural gas is available. And this is back around the front. So there you have it. Um, I will show you what I was seeing on the roof. For some that might be some damage. Um, right there is, you got a shingle lane right here at the bottom. And then right there, it looks like there's some shingles missing. Um, looks like there might be a little soft spot right here under this. pipe boot there. But other than that, I don't really see anything, any dips or too much of anything in the roof. So, Alright, that's it.